Hello, everyone. Welcome to our kitchen. Today we are making something that requires only patience and time. It's slow cooked trotters, aka pig feet, which takes three hours to cook. The meat become tender and bouncy, and the broth is full of collagen. This is a popular dish in my hometown of Chengdu, as there are lots of restaurants focusing on cooking pig feet, and they all share similar name. Like Lao Ma Ti Hua, which means old mom style pig feet. The main ingredients for this dish are pig feet, lima beans soaked overnight, and ginger. If you bought uncut pig feet like I did, make sure you wash and clean the feet first. Then make a few cuts, which helps cooking. We need to pre-cook the feet first to remove blood and other odors. Start with cold water. Add some Sichuan peppercorn, ginger slices, and cooking wine. Boil for 10 to 15 minutes. Take the feet out and wash clean. Remove any visible hair now, since it's easier to remove them after boiling, especially the hair in between the knuckles. Once cleaned, put the feet into large pot with lots of water. Add some slice of gingers. And start boiling. You can also add one tablespoon of white vinegar, which helps cook the bones. Once the water start to boil, remove any visible foam from the pot. Put the lid on and simmer with medium low heat. After one hour, check on the feet. Make sure they're not sticking to the bottom of the pot. Add the beans and simmer for another two hours. You may check once halfway through to make sure the feet and the beans are not sticking to the pot. Two hours later, the pig feet should be very tender to eat. We haven't added any seasoning yet. For the broth, you can add some salt and white pepper. But for the meat, we are going to make a special dipping sauce. With roasted hot pepper, which is a popular dipping sauce in Chengdu as well. First, we are going to put the hot pepper on the burner to char the outside. Once it's charred evenly, let it cool down a little bit, then chop it up. We also need to chop up a few Thai chili and one scallion. Then we are going to add some soy sauce, a little bit of vinegar, some sugar, MSG, and red chili oil. Mix everything well, and the dipping sauce is ready. Hope you can give this dish a shot, since it's very simple to cook, and you can enjoy this. During the cold weather. Thank you for watching. See you next time. If you like our video, make sure you like and share with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our weekly updates.